Welcome to another video from Sintas Flow. Today's um, episode will be creating a very mini uh, application. I feel like a very mini project. So I want to see how we can create, put a slide. I mean, create a, a, a slide text effect or a text slide effect. Okay, so that's what it's about. So this is the finished work. So this is how it looks. You could hook this up to any of your project, maybe like something like personal portfolio e-commerce it could be anything you just want to showcase certain showcase certain aspect of your maybe like showcasing your skills showcasing certain products uh, and so on so you could do that so in order to get this done what we need is uh, just two files index and the, the style sheet okay so yeah, this is how it looks so we just uh, quickly put the bare bone html as you can see so hook it up to the the style as you can see there so this is the style is empty currently all right so then the next one we're going to do is make sure that i'll create the um create the session then span the that will hold the languages in that will have uh, um, uh, the paragraph inside so of course we have a label on it i'll have the um, programming language as you can see this is how the output is bare bone so let's go to the css or the style of css so as you can see here, we we'll just uh, uh, put margin, type margin, padding, zero, then uh, background, make it very dark. That's what we want to use. You could change it, choose any color you want, but make sure that it doesn't, make sure that it contrasts properly, okay, with the text. Okay, so the, the overflow should be, make sure that the overflow is hidden. Then I'll also make sure that the, that is for the session, make sure that the height, not the height, yes, so height, of course, height is, uh, measured 100 then make sure that the uh the display is flexed then justify content center items uh center align item center then the style write the code there just uh, just like I can see you could pause it so i can have it i'm just going to make it fast so i can see the output let's see the responsiveness it doesn't uh, respond properly it's not responsive at all so let's go back and quickly fix that I uh, want this video to be very short, if possible, under four minutes. Okay, so now that's the responsive, link, uh, responsive code. Uh, so we'll see right there as when it gets to when it hits 850px. So let's work on the keyframe. So on the keyframe, uh, on the keyframe, we'll, we'll set uh, from 100% to, I mean, from 0% to 100%. So that's uh, at the top minus uh, 400px to 200px. Okay, so now uh, you know it doesn't do anything. So let's quickly uh, tie that to. Let's link it up with the with the, the area as appropriate. Okay, so here we just animate animation. Then we say slide. That is the name of that keyframe. Then nine seconds. Then linear infinite. So if you check it now, you see that it scrolls down based on what we have. So you could uh, make it to scroll up, which means you have to just invert it from. Uh, that will now be from uh, 400 to. 200 okay so now you have uh, six uh, six percent 75 percent that is the in between 100 and uh, 0 and 100 so uh, we we'll just complete it at 30 percent and 35 percent uh then if you check it out now it's refresh check it out now so it moves but it's, it's uh, somehow uh not working properly somewhere so we'll just uh work on this make this one 65 percent that should be 65 percent so as you can see so that is, is close it looks now but it fades off somehow it doesn't flow properly so what we do now change that 35 percent to 65 percent in line 50 in my own code so we check that let's uh, look at it so you see that it's closed down better than before and you have python and so on so uh so now there's there's so many repetitions here so let's say we can remove that you can see that the 6 percent 30 percent they are the same value so let's group that then 35 percent and 5 percent the same value then 75 percent and 100 percent are the same value so let's quickly so as you can see so they see the same thing works with, uh, so that we don't repeat unnecessarily okay so you see now that it still works properly okay so that is uh, basically how it works of course out of uh, the label i mean the h1 put earlier the my, uh, the, my programming languages so let's quickly just do that. So just add the, the CSS uh, work right there. Okay, so that is it. So this is how to create the test slide effect. 
and i hope this one accept one or two persons out there so if it accept you please subscribe to this channel if you have not done so like i said some, some time ago a lot is coming on this channel so help us grow where we also help you thank you for watching see you in the next video don't forget to like and share thank you